So I woke up to a news of Pizza Obi this morning. Some people they drag him seriously online. Maybe not the blogs when I read and the comments when I see. But the comments are not beautiful at all. They say he talk. Say Nigeria democracy and the respect for the constitution is gradually dying. So they start to blaster. Now for me, I want to see what he has said totally before I comment on it. So I went to look for the post because now tweet when he tweets. Yesterday was International Democracy Day. And Peter Abi tweeted about our democracy, our constitution, and the rule of law for Nigeria. And he said we are gradually losing it. And if we're not careful, these are the very bedrocks on which democracy is built on. The respect of the rule of law. If we're not careful, we are gradually losing it. And people started to drag him. First and foremost, let me show you the tweet. Are they come? On this year's celebration of International Democracy Day, we must remind ourselves of the need to work together to build and deepen our nation's democracy. As witnessed in the country today, the mindless erosion of the very ideals and tenets on which Nigerian democracy built, if not checked, will only push the nation deeper into lawlessness. The current trend of endemic corruption, abuse of the constitution, disrespect of the rule of law, and transactional politics which cuts across the executive, legislative, and judicial arms of government have continued to conflict with our nation's enforcement of democracy. Consequently, our dear nation has continued to swing dangerously away from the boundaries of true democracy. Gradually, we are losing one of the biggest intangible assets that makes us a nation strong, which is respect for the rule of law. I call on all Nigerians to remain committed to building and reinforcing our nation's democracy. Once again, I will state my commitment to a new and truly democratic Nigeria. I am in this struggle solely for the betterment of our society. My vision of a new and truly democratic Nigeria is born out of the deep conviction that Nigeria, if given good leadership, as I offer to give, will be beneficial to every Nigerian. We must not give up on our nation because a new and truly democratic Nigeria is possible. Happy International Democracy Day, Peter Obi. Now, I don't read this tweet over and over again, like five times on my head. And I try to pick what it is wrong. And then I remember I saw about that Peter Obi tweet. If Peter Obi said, praise thy Lord, some people will get a problem with her. It's just the way it is. What has he said that is a lie? Are we not here? Are we not seeing abuse of the constitution in our eyes? Disrespect for the rule of law. We're not seeing it. We're not there yet. Where they carry God with a mafia, they go court. When the court clearly said release him on bail. Oh, I don't see the drama we play out for that court that day. When GSS start to fight prison orders. Oh, I don't see him. Why we all of us, the other say we blind for this country? My brother, respect for the rule of law. He's dying in Nigeria and we know. We don't see him. You know how many times God does not say release Nam the canoe. You know how many times God does say release El Sazaki. Nam the canoe is still in jail. If that is not abuse of constitution, I don't know how we interpret it, but that is how we see it. So if the man says that democracy is built on respect for the constitution, so we should try to respect our constitution and we may committed to it. I don't know how that has become a crime. Nana, nah. he don't make your own tweet or on another insult him. If obedience has her on her now, on her go so obedient, not get respect. But Nana, nah, they start her. You forget saying get keep out of your way ready to quarry. No matter what you say wrong about him, unless we find out that it's actually wrong, we will defend him. And even Peter B knows that the day he starts talking wrong, we will tell him. We will attack him. But so far, so good. He has been saying and preaching one message. Respect the rule of law. Fight to the ambience of the law. Fight constitutionally. He has always said it. And if you have a problem with that, then I need to shake you well. Because the kind of comments of people are making, it be like say we really deserve the kind of leaders what we get for Nigeria.